If you've used red light therapy before, you may have wondered whether you really need a large full body red light therapy panel, or whether you need to move that small handheld device over the entire body. Or maybe like me, you've used red light therapy in one area and noticed benefits in another area. So what's going on here? And what's the answer to these questions? Well, it turns out that yes, if you're treating one particular area, you're gonna get benefits in other areas. And scientists are well aware of this. They call this a systemic effect or a non-localized system-wide effect. Now, before I get into what this means for your regular red light therapy protocol, let's look at what the research shows and how this effect is working. And before I go on, I do need to mention, no doubt you're thinking, well, do I really need to get these large panels now if I can just use a small one? I'll answer this question directly at the end of the video. So if you've been following my work for a while, you'll know that there are literally thousands of studies on red light therapy. Now, most of these studies are looking at targeted treatment. In fact, a lot of these studies are using lasers as well. So it's a very precise, very narrow area of treatment. Now, of course, we know through the research that this targeted treatment is having amazing benefits on that particular area. But fortunately, some out of the box researchers have decided to see whether this light is having an impact on other areas of the body. So when you're treating your sore knee, is that helping with your cholesterol levels or body-wide inflammation levels? Or is it helping you recover from your workout? After sifting through the research, we found that yes, that targeted treatment is having a system-wide benefit. Now, if you want to take a really deep dive into this topic, I'm going to put a link to an excellent article Bart wrote below, because researchers have found that the systemic benefits of red light therapy are quite vast. So rather than going through all the studies that we've already done in that blog, I'm just going to pick out a few of them to cover in this video. And then of course, we'll get to practical takeaways at the end. Okay, so the first study looks at 24 rabbits that received a screw into their tibia, the bone in their leg. Poor rabbits, I know. Now, half of this group was treated with red light therapy, the other half wasn't. Now, what's really interesting here is the light was applied to their right paw, but the screw went into their left leg. The outcome of this study, the rabbits that were treated with red light in their right paw had better bone repair in their left leg than the rabbits that had no red light therapy treatment. Remember, the light wasn't targeted on their leg. It was on their paw. Another study looked at the impact red light therapy had on acne sufferers. And the participants were exposed to near infrared light. And yes, their acne grade and their acne scores did all improve. However, what's interesting is the light was only applied to one particular area on the face, but their entire face improved when it came to acne scoring. And another study was done with a beauty product using red light therapy. Half the face was treated. The end of the study, both sides improved. There was really no difference between the untreated side and the treated side. So there's definitely something going on here. And I could go on and on. There's studies looking at arthritis. There's studies looking at hair regrowth. And these studies all show that, yeah, treating one area can actually have benefits in other non-treated areas. Now, remember in the blog article I mentioned earlier, we do go deep into these studies and there's a lot more as well. So check that out if you are using red light therapy for a particular problem. Also, I should mention while you're over there, jump on the newsletter list and be sure to subscribe to my channel. A lot of work, a lot of time goes into creating content like this. By hitting like and subscribe, it tells me that people value it. So I'll keep doing it. Okay, so what does this all mean? Well, there's overwhelming evidence to show that yes, red light therapy does have a systemic beneficial effect on the body. Whether it's for pain, muscle growth, inflammation, joint pain, brain disease, bone formation, there's proof that treating one area of the body is going to benefit another area. So then the $5,000 question, do you need to go out and buy four Biomax 900s when instead you could just buy a handheld or a tabletop device and get those full body benefits? Well, there's still benefit to having the larger panels and the larger treatment area. Let me explain. Even though the research was showing that yes, the untreated areas were benefiting, those untreated areas may not have been benefiting or improving as much as if they were treated directly. Think about it from a training point of view. Yes, you could go out and improve your grip strength and you'll probably notice an overall increase in body strength. The reason is your nervous system becomes more efficient in recruiting motor neurons. There may be some tendon strengthening in the elbow and the shoulders. There may even be a cardiovascular impact. But just by targeting the grip strength isn't going to unlock the full strength potential that you can have by doing squats and presses and training the rest of your body. Full body treatment, whether it's red light therapy or weight training, is going to have far superior effects than just treating one area of the body. Let's use another example. 
Let's say you have sprained your ankle, have a sunburned face, and have tendonitis in your elbow. Now, if you just treat that ankle with red light therapy, sure, there may be a faster healing time with the sunburn, and you may even notice a slight improvement in your elbow. But you're not going to get the same benefits as if you treated those areas directly. Again, let's use the training analogy. Let's say you spend a lot of time cycling. You're going to see system-wide improvements with circulation, aerobic capacity, maybe even fat loss. But these improvements in, say, your arms aren't going to be the same as if you were out kayaking or rowing every day, putting a lot more stimulus and a lot more direct training onto those areas. It is clear now that red light is having a full body impact, and these impacts are great. They're on things that we may not even think about, like I mentioned before lowering cholesterol levels or helping recover from common colds or viruses but there's still benefit from increasing the red light therapy load across all areas of the body finally i do need to point out and this is quite important that there were in fact some studies that didn't find there were systemic beneficial effects on other non-treated areas so pretty much if you have a sore knee and a sore elbow and a sunburnt face and you're looking for overall health and wellness treat all of those areas treat the whole body Though after a lot of thought, I can see the benefit of buying a really good quality, well-built, well-researched, targeted red light therapy device. Something like the Kineon Move Plus Pro that I have here. I have this on my desk because I am currently using it and reviewing it. Now something like this is using lasers and red light therapy. Obviously it's very, very small. You can strap it in and target your knee, or of course you could just hold it and say, target your sore tooth. So you're using this whenever there's an acute problem or you're recovering from something. And then of course you're using your larger full body panels, maybe four times a week, just for the complete body benefits and making sure you're hitting all of those other areas of the body without the concentrated dose that you're getting from a targeted device. This may be the ultimate strategy when it comes to getting the most out of red light therapy. Because one thing I've noticed after looking through the research on this topic, there are a lot of benefits when it comes to red light therapy use. Yes, we're all aware of the improved recovery times and the faster healing, but it's these deeper level health impacts that are really quite fascinating. The improved inflammatory markers, the improved brain health markers, improved blood sugar control, improved state of mind and well-being. The list is endless and I'm sure there's many other benefits we're not even aware of yet. So don't stop using your body panels. In fact, this just provides more reason to keep using those panels, even if, say, your sore shoulder has already improved. Keep using it. There are a ton of full body systemic benefits that you're getting from red light therapy. But if you're out shopping and you can't quite afford a full body panel yet, why don't you check out some of those handheld panels? I mentioned this Kineon product earlier, and to learn more about that, click here. This is my review and interview of this product, and I think you'll find it quite interesting.